This is my biggest problem with the Mercedes Sprinter van. It's Diddy K and I'm back with another video. Make sure you put me on your big screen video. Before we get into the video, make sure you smash the subscribe button if you are not subscribed, because guess what? I will be giving away over $1,000 when we get to 100,000 subscribers. But guess what? In order to earn your chance to win some of those dividends, you must be subscribed. But it's time for us to pull up to Home Depot so we can slide. All the whole day, all we did was roadie, roadie, roadie with a dab of ranch. We are, going, we are about to go to our first store. We're about to go ahead and get an order. Guess what? And if you hate, I'm just going to ignore you. Now, we are going to Home Depot. We are picking up a refrigerator. We're going to drive six miles for 4674. We're about to pull up and uh, let's go, let's go. And just like that, we are here at Home Depot. We're trying to get this cheese like a Cheeto. We're trying to get this cheese like a Cheeto, baby. Good morning. Good morning. What's the order number? Um, H. 19, 26, 29, 47, 04. Y'all see it, baby. We got the red fridge. I'm gonna pull up and show you how I live. So I'm gonna put a cover around this joint and I'm gonna strap it up and we gonna run it up and get to these books. Let's get it. A few moments later. Y'all see the cover and the strap. It's time for us to pull up and get to this money. No cap, let's go. Y'all see it, baby. We got the fridge right in front of the garage. I didn't want to block the uh, customer's car, so I put it right here. I'm about to get in it clear. Guess what? My business partner did have to help me take this joint out the van so we can get these bands because I didn't want to pull out the ramp and a dolly. But we about to make our pockets pop a ollie. Let's get it. Step back in with the photo. Y'all already know. We gone. Orders two and three. We about to pull up and get this cheese and get busy. Now, we are going to another Home Depot store. We're picking up two orders. Order number two, we're going to pick up two shower inserts. It's the same order I had yesterday. We're gonna drive 15 miles for 52.42. Get this money, it's what we love to do. And then order number three, we love getting this cheese. We are picking up a door. We're gonna drive 3.9 miles for 45.48. We about to pull up and get this cake, let's go. We are here at the second stove. We about to run up this door. We here to scope, baby. We are here to scope. Good morning, I'm back again. I, you gonna get tired of seeing me, I'm back again. <laughs> Yeah, I have two orders to pick up. Can I have order number? Um, H, 19, 27, 30, 29, 61. This is the same one I had yesterday that I had to bring back. Oh, that one? Yeah. Um, what's the other one? Um, H, 19, 27, 30, 24, 60, 31. Yeah, yeah, you ate your weed this morning. Yep. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate your help. All right, have a good day. All right, you too. Ugh. As you guys can see, we got this joint strapped up. Now it's time to go pick up order number two and get this money is what we love to do. Y'all see it, baby. Guess what? We got both of them under this bungee. It's time for us to pull up and get to this money. Let's go. How you doing, sir? I'm here with your Home Depot order, your door. I'm doing great to yourself. That's great to hear. One, two, three. Awesome. Perfect. You. you getting some new siding? Yes. I like no, the. You don't like the new, the white one? <laughs> I actually like the old look like this. Picture, and I am good to go. Guess what? We finally got in touch with the customer and we got the suite number, baby. It's 720, so we're gonna put it behind this door because that's the only way we can put it. So it's incognito. Guess what? We're trying to stack these chips like Pringles. Box number two. Set it right here. What up? Y'all see what's going on. Y'all know my nickname wrong. We out here rocking on the microphone. Now we gotta step back here with the photo. You already know though. Smack! We go. Orders four and five. We about to pull up to Home Depot and pick up the prize Ziz. We picking up two orders, we about to go ahead and get an order yet again. Now, we're picking up 12 boxes of blinds. We're gonna drive five miles 
for 4611. Don't forget to thank you, Lord, for your blessings. We're about to get this money. We ain't stressing. And order number five, we're picking up three floor modems. We're gonna drive six miles for 4674. We're about to pull up and uh, let's go, let's go. Uh. Yes, sir. Y'all see what's going on. We're about to pull up to somebody home and get in our zone, baby. We got everything strapped down. We about to pull up, cause we ain't playing around. Let's go. How you doing, sir? You work here? Yeah, I have some blinds to drop off from Home Depot. Home Depot? Home Depot. Okay. You want me to put it on the concrete? Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. That's everything right there. I just take a picture and I'm good to go. Now we gotta step back and with the photo. You already know though, smack. We gone. Just like that, we are here at the second drop off. We're trying to get this money and ball like hot sauce. This one says we have to get a uh, signature from the customer. So we're gonna see if the customer here. If not, guess where we're going? <laughs> Back to the stove and we're gonna want up some more dough. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm living the dream. I woke up this morning. Besides, it's burning up hot out here, but we're okay. We're still That's living. It's okay. It's okay, doggy. Where if you can we... sign right here, I'll hold this for you. Thank you. It's in a white box there. Then I have to take a picture and we are good to go. Smile for the camera. <laughs> All right, you have a good one. So today we made $237.49, enough money to pay the rent. We riding around the bins with no tent. Speaking of bins, let's talk about this Mercedes Sprinter van that I do. This, these are the problems that I have with Mercedes Sprinter van. And guess what? These are not in a particular order. So these are gonna be scattered everywhere, but it's time for us to get busy. I'm glad you guys are with me. Guess what? The first thing that I have a huge problem with is the waiting time for your appointment. It takes way too long for you to uh, get your joint in for oil change. They told us it's gonna take us take them three weeks to a month in order for us to get in to get the oil chains on smoke. And guess what? That was definitely a joke. So they need to get that together. Another thing I have an issue with is, now I will say this, I'm gonna start off with the good. They do give you a loaner van. Sometimes you get your loaner van. We had the loaner van, we was riding around in the low low, we was getting dodo. What is a low low? Low low is the low roof van that we were using in yesterday's video and the day before that. So we went out there and got busy in the loaner van. But most of the time when we go there and we get a loaner van, the quality of the loaner van is terrible. I'm talking about one of them joints, they had like, they hooked a two by four up to the armrest right here because that joint was messed up. So they had a two by four, so it was stopped on the two by four at the uh, floor. It was absolutely terrible. Um, what the, what was wrong with the one that we had uh, last time was that it, just, it had a, a, a pretty big crack in the windshield. So, hey, Benz, you need to get it together. If it was me and I'm the owner of the uh, Mercedes-Benz dealership, guess what I'm doing? I'm making sure that the customers get the newest and best vans. Now, why would you do that? Why would you waste all that money? Why would you do that? That's stupid. Look, I'm doing that to get them to buy another van because once they draw this new joint, they gonna be like, oh, I need to get this new one. So that's how you gotta do it. You gotta promote yourself at all times while you're out there in the grind. Let's get to the next one. This is probably one of the biggest issues I have with them. Every time we have a concern, they seem to not be able to fix the problem. And I have a huge issue with that. I told them about the, uh, the heat shields uh, making that noise. I, oh, we couldn't get it to duplicate. Then I noticed it's like a squeak under here, under this center console up here, like on the passenger side. It's gonna be squeaking. I don't know what it is. I can't find it. I took all the stuff out this thing. I could not find out what it was. We told them about that. They couldn't find it either. They heard it, but then they ain't hear it no more. Like y'all always got an excuse about why y'all not hearing this and why y'all not doing that. Which leads me right into this. The maintenance costs are way too high. I'm talking about, I got these little squeaks and stuff going on, these heat shields messing up and all that stuff. Y'all need to be able to fix this stuff for the free seat because the, the, the amount of money that I'm paying y'all is out of control. But I do know that you guys have told me previously that I can go somewhere else besides Mercedes Benz or I can do it myself. I absolutely agree with that. But that's the reason why I got the warranty. I got the warranty and I want to make sure everything is documented. And uh, let me go back to my other one that I was talking about. That's what they keep on saying. We made sure we documented it. We made sure we, man, fuck. Hey, I almost cussed. Forget all that document stuff. 
fix the problem. I don't care about no documents and we document it. I, that's cool and all, but fix the problem. Just because you document it don't mean you ain't really gotta look at it. I don't know if y'all already looking at it or not. Y'all need to get it together though. So, for Mercedes Sprinter van, they have two different oil changes. They have A and they have B. The A oil change costs you about $350 and the B oil change costs you about $600. And guess what? They do, they do do more stuff for the B oil change, but to me personally, I don't feel like that the B oil change is worth uh, as much as they say in this, this whole $600. I think that the stuff that they do is very minor, so it's not, it's not really like they're really doing that much more to earn $250 more dollars. That's what I think. Now, let's go ahead and get into this. For brakes, this is what we had to pay for brakes. We had brakes done and an oil change done, and all together we paid $1,264.19. And guess what else though? The thing about it is we used a $250 coupon. If we didn't use that coupon, we would have paid $1,514.19. And that's definitely enough money to pay the rent, baby. So it's very expensive to get these Sprinter vans worked on and everything. But again, you guys did tell me that I could work on it myself, but I want everything on the up and up because guess what? I ain't, they ain't gonna run it up on me. I ain't going. So, when we picked up smoke, right, we get in the van, we ride around, my, my partner like, man, why does it feel like my butt wet? I'm like, what are you tweaking? I'm riding around, I'm just chilling, right? Look, the armrests is wet and the seats are wet. I don't know if they left the van out in the rain because it stormed pretty bad the day before. Left the van out in the rain or if they left the window down when they did the car wash. But the whole armrest was wet. Like when you push your arm down on you can feel the, the, the water coming out that joint. Then we had a microfiber towel that we used to clean the windows when the windows get a little dirty. And guess what? That joint was soaking wet. I'm talking about sweat. I'm talking about super wet. Pause. That was crazy. That joint was soaking wet. So I don't know what they did. We reached out to them. They told about some, yeah, we can, we don't know what happened, but we can offer you guys a detailing of the inside of the van. Oh man, we ain't, no, we ain't got time. We already had your uh, loaner van for 3,000 days. And now y'all want us to bring the van back and leave it there for four hours so y'all can detail it. Hey, we ain't trying to do all that. Y'all need to figure out who did this and why they did it and how it happened, but nobody ever uh, confessed to it. So it is what it is. So the next time we have to go for oil change or anything, we will be going to a different service center because we need to find out if it's Mercedes Benz or if it's just that location. We need to find this out. We want the money out the cloud. We ain't playing no games. We're about to go out here and do our thing. We're trying to get these chains. But all in all, what I will say is the good thing about Mercedes Benz, Sprinter Vans, is this joint drive beautiful. I'm not gonna lie. This joint drive amazing. I'm talking about you just be floating. You just be floating that joint. I, I, I'm gonna get them that. The stuff that they have on the van is quality stuff. Um, it runs great. We really didn't have, don't have any issues besides those the um, the heat shield noise, and that is off and on, ain't all the time. And then they're squeaking up here. I don't know about the squeaking. I'm gonna figure it out. Next time we go get an oil change, we're taking it to another place, so maybe they can figure out what it is. But we, it is what it is, baby. But if you are not subscribed, again, now is your chance to get some of this band. We are giving away over a thousand subscribers. We are giving away over a thousand dollars when we get to a hundred thousand subscribers. And before we go, if you are a part of the crew, you already know what to do. Throw them these up. Throw them these up in the comment section below. Y'all saw us pull up and uh, let's go. I'll see you guys on the next one. We going, we going, we flowing. You already know in the DDK, and I'm on my way.